some of the most popular cars in a class at the Amelia Island Concours were the cars of Pasadena coach builder Bowman and Schwartz. They built the cars for the millionaires and the Hollywood stars in the 1930s, and they're wonderful cars here that represent what they could do with sheet metal. The stock version of this Duesenberg was an upright touring car with a supercharger, but Bowman and Schwartz streamlined the nose, gave it the bullet headlights, enclosed the spare tires, gave it a dip in the door. We're told this car was ordered by Mae West, but she was impatient and didn't want it. Despite its size, I'm told it's a very quick car with that supercharger. This 1941 Packard Convertible Victoria is owned by Bob and Sandra Barr of Alton, New Hampshire. And it's an intriguing car because it was originally bought by the late Grand Prix racer Phil Hill's aunt. She gave it to him. He used it as a tow car for his race cars back on the West Coast in California. Totally unrestored, the body lines done by Bowman and Schwartz are all soft and beautiful. The curve of the door, the curve of the rear fender. As some say it looks like a car done by the Packard Darren Company. It's not. It's all California. The star of the show, the star on the poster, the star of Bowman and Schwartz was the Phantom Corsair from 1938. In fact, you can hear people saying the best view is from the nose. Look at the grill, look at the headlights, look at the design. Built on a 1930s Cord 810 platform, this car was Rust Heinz's design, built by Bowman and Schwartz. He wanted to build more of these cars, but he died in a car accident. It ultimately ended up in the hands of Bill Harrow, the famous collector, and was restored at his National Motor Museum in Reno. This car, long, low, futuristic, actually showed up in a movie in the 1930s. They called it the car of the future, the Flying Wombat. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Dan Scanlon.